follow your dreams And they say Do what you want And money will come Hi, I'm Mike Miller. Hope you're having a great day. Thank you so much for watching the shows that I do where I bring local musicians to you so you can find out their story and hear their music. I'm honored to have Ava Thompson here today. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. I enjoyed those songs you did just now. Thank you. Thank you. Those are all going to be on my first album. I finished writing it this year and I might get it recorded by the end of the year. Hopefully, we'll see. That's great. Yeah, I'm really excited about that. When did you first come to Denton? I first came to Denton uh, March of 2016. Really? Yeah, I had visited a couple times. I had friends out here and it was just about that time where I was like, you know, I need to get far away from the hometown. Yeah, know? Chicago. And, uh, yeah, Chicago. I, which I, I make no mistake, I love Chicago very dearly. It is my home. I have family and friends there, but it's time are, to kind of branch out. Are some of bit. your other family members musicians or singers? Um. Not really. I have a lot of artists in my family, but oh, really? music isn't really. I mean, I guess so. My uncle on my dad's side, he's a guitarist. He's been in bands, but I don't know that he's really much of a vocalist in what he does. Um, and then my mom's sisters are, well, you know, one's a really astounding painter, and then the other's oh, really? an actress. So that's got interesting. Art all over the family. Yeah, but. and you were just attracted to to music and singing as a kid. Yeah, well actually, so I mean I've all, I've been singing since I could speak, but um, my first real love for the arts came in theater. I was, uh, I took community theater classes second grade all throughout high school, and kind of figured that if I were to pursue the arts post high school it was going to be that, but after high school I uh, went down some weird paths and then came back from them, thankfully, and I found music and I found songwriting specifically. Um, and decided I'm gonna learn to play enough guitar to do this myself. Um, so you did the House of Blues in Chicago. I did. That would have been January 2020, right, 2020, before, right before everything happened. I was yeah. actually, I was in talks to do like a House of Blues circuit kind of tour. Oh um, really? Yeah, and then the I, what was supposed to be the second show at the sh Chicago location, um, that ha that was scheduled for the day after everything shut down. Oh, really? Yeah. So I was I was really bummed out for a while, but kind of turned out for the best because I have learned some things since then about some of the people I would would have been working with, and I am okay with not having to work with them. <laughs> you never know. Yeah. You really don't. You really don't. <laughs> but it was it was a cool experience. It was. Um, kind of really haphazardly thrown together at the last minute. So yeah, it's the, I can the band itself, band was called Damn Betty. Um, and I had just, I had been playing an open mic at a suburban bar and this woman who was, who put the whole thing together was like, I want you playing oh, this. Yeah, she and then, you. And then just put a band together for me that consisted of her boyfriend. Yeah. And I was like, mm, okay. And, uh, the drummer and they're like they not they're talented people, great musicians, fun to work with. But it was just so everything happened so quickly, and I didn't feel that I had a lot of say in what was going oh, on. Yeah. And I was like, "This is my music. I want to have agency over this." Yeah. So it didn't work out, and that was fine. <laughs> a learning experience. Yeah, and it was. I mean, it was cool to play the House of Blues. Like that was oh, awesome. Yeah. yeah. You know, you don't. Not a lot of people can say they've done that. That's right. So that felt pretty cool. And you've been to New Orleans and played music down there too? Um, so I've been to New Orleans many, many times. Um, I would say in terms of playing music down there, like I have, I've never played a gig in New Orleans. It's always been just like busking, busking. in the French Quarter. Yeah, well that's fun. Um, that is a lot of fun. I So the story of that song is long and complicated and I don't want to get too far into it but essentially it was a relationship and then it wasn't and then I have not been back since and I have this thing about me where I I want to go back but my first return to the city of New Orleans has to be done by myself 
And then after that, like my friends are all like, oh, I want to go to New Orleans with you. You know it so well. I'm like, you got to wait, because I haven't been back yet, and you're not invited for that. It's not the personal. <laughs> it's about me. But I can't, I can't go back there with a bunch of people until I've gone back there and you know, started to rewrite some things myself. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Well, when you came to Dallas, you, you, you played open mics and then you were singing for bands too. Yeah, so when I first came here, I was uh, just kind of doing my thing. I just showed up and no one, I mean, a few people knew who I was, but for the most part, I was just some new girl from Chicago playing music on the square and everyone was like, who are you? And Did you busk up there? Yeah, I busked really? on the square. Um, Pretty frequently. That really? was that was a, a good chunk of my income at that time. By yourself, usually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Occasionally, I'd have a friend join me, but. Um, and then you played open mics as well. Yeah, I did a lot of open mics at the old Abbey Underground. Oh yeah. And um, where else? Abbey Underground was probably the biggest one, the most frequent one that I did. Was Banter still open when you? Uh, no, no. Or, or if it was, it closed very shortly, shortly after, after I got here. I actually had never heard of Banter until like a couple months ago. Yeah. So <laughs> that was that was a new one. Um, and you've done a number of videos th through Bob Ralph's Tiny yes, Couch. Yes, yeah. I have done Tiny Couch. That is That was a lot of fun. Bob Ralph is a very sweet, very uh, talented guy who, you know, he just wants to bring local musicians make them more visible like what you're doing here and I, I appreciate that I think that it's been a lot of fun to uh, videos he has he yours has. are really nice I enjoyed thank listening you. to those thank you yeah it's been cool to come back because my first time in Denton was kind of all over the place and I was I didn't really have a focus of what I wanted to do and now this time around I'm I I want to make my music I'm not yeah trying you to, have an album ready yeah I've yeah. got an album ready and I've been doing things like Tiny Couch and this and uh, booking gigs that are a little more, um, I don't know, I guess focused on singer-songwriter things. Yeah, like, like the Horny Toad yeah, thing Horny with, Toad Matt with Matt Grigsby. That yeah. was a lot of fun. You that did a great a job. Thank you very much. That was that was a long, a long, long set, set and yeah. I've, uh, to have played solo for that long was kind of a new feat. And I was like, yeah, I can do this. I can do this. You do a, well. do a number of cover songs too, Jolene. Yes, yes. Jolene. Um, oh, I, I, I did a Smashing Pumpkins cover. Oh, it's, really? Yeah, it's my favorite song of all time. It's called Mayonnaise. I don't know why, but that's what it's called. Um, yeah, I did a lot of covers. I did a lot of originals too. Um, it's nice to have enough original material to fill like a 40 minute to an hour set. Yeah, it, it feels is. feels really good. Yeah. It takes a while to get there. A lot of people have like three songs and... That's where I was for a long time. Yeah. And then this year, my New Year's resolution this year was to finish writing an album. Um, and I just wanted to finish writing it by the end of the year. And now it's not even halfway through the year and it's done and I've started recording already, so... Where are you recording? Um, I have, do you know Matt Farmer? I've heard of him. He's he's a sweet angel baby, and he he's got a place out in Fort Worth, um, like a really cool home studio setup that we've been getting together every few weeks and laying some more stuff down. He plays in some bands, doesn't he? Yeah, he's a uh, uh, Levi Cobb in the oh, Big Smoke okay. um, character in the Method what, Actors. What does he play for them? Guitar. Guitar. Yeah. I think. <laughs> <laughs> They're a really um, good band, yeah. Yeah, he also he plays guitar and character in the Method Actors as well. I'm I'm assume that most of what he does is guitar. I feel bad for not knowing that for sure, <laughs> but I'm pretty pretty sure that that's what he does. Yeah, yeah, that's what he does. Hopefully, we're safe. On yeah, that. and we can also. I mean, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> so, do you think you would like to? What would you like to be doing five years from now? God, I don't know what I want to be doing five minutes from now. I don't. I've never planned that far ahead. Let's see. In five years, I'll be thirty-three. Um, hopefully, you know, I'd like to be still. I definitely still want to be playing music. Um, I want to uh, be maybe not relying on that as my sole source of income, but I want that to be bringing in uh, a little extra spend in cash. Um, I'd like to still be in Denton by then, I think. I think. I know it, everything's subject to change at any moment, but I think I'd like to kind of still be doing what I'm doing now. It's a fun town. It's a fun town, especially for musicians. This is a great place to be. Yeah. 
Well, I appreciate you coming down today to play some music. And, yeah, uh, thank you for having me. And thank you all for checking out the show, and I hope you enjoy her songs. We appreciate it, and have a great day. Uh, my name is Ava Thompson, and this song is called Fear of the Dark. Fear of the Dark. That's a recent one. Um, I just finished writing an album, and I've started recording it fairly recently, so I think by the end of the year I'll have that going for me. Um, this one, oh heck, what was I going to do next? Oh, this one <laughs> is called uh, Keep Your Distance. Um, this is a yeah, similar vibe, I guess you could say. Um, here we go. Empty bed 
it's okay There's only seven circles left in this hell When my feet fall from under me Sure miss your company You're far away And I'm still writing songs that up a little bit this one is called that woman's a spider and it's about all the like powerfully chaotic women i know which is a lot there's so many of them and they don't know what they're capable of and they need to so i wrote them a song about it um yeah this is what that one is <clears throat> You'll be her last resort Backseat, drive it, don't you tell it or gun it You're on fumes at the finish line Coming up short, uh -huh. Chaos to the flies, but that woman's a spider 
inside her mind Act fast, baby, or she'll leave you behind Don't forget We're all on borrowed time Next one is called 122917, but I recognize that that doesn't mean much to anybody but me, so it is also called New Orleans. Um, this is my favorite thing I've ever written, so I hope you like it too. <laughs> <coughs> They say that good things never happen after midnight And that's about when you and I rolled into town And after one short rest, one long flight We set off to see how far we would be dragged down Drag me by my toes back below sea level Where the Sazeracs flow we made the devil sleeping in the doghouse on Decatur Street Stamping my feet, I can't take the heat, New Orleans New Orleans Can't shake that dream Take me back Take me back, take me back on down to New Orleans Didn't take long for it to kick in I'd never been more insulted or more sickened And my dear, I never wanted you more So drag me by my toes back below sea level Where the Sazeracs flow Three made the devil sleeping in the doghouse on Decatur Street Step in your feet, you can't take the heat in New Orleans New Orleans I can't shake that dream Take me back, take me back, take me back on down to New Orleans Thank you. 
We really think one day that we could own the moon. Oh, my darling, if only we were so clever, New Orleans. New Orleans, such a vivid dream. Can't go back, won't go back. Drag me back on down to New Orleans. All right, well, uh, I have one more for you. This one is called Hook, and it's a quick one, so after this, we will be done. Thank you for having me, and once again, my name is Ava Thompson. My palms to the sun I've been stuck Treading water on and off for I don't know how long It's been since I stopped wrestling With my sins and invited them in Like it or not, that light is my kin Do what you want And money will 